I just need to get past the fact that it looks like one naked man is smearing peanut butter and using it as shaving cream on another naked man. Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back, I'm Shane. Hey, I'm Tom. Malachi. We're back with Game of Fo- Oh my gosh. We're back with Game of Thrones, Season 1, Episode 5, The Wolf and the Lion. Okay guys, uh, The Wolf and the Lion. Uh, do you know what they stand for? The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. The Northern. Yeah, I'm How curious. Stark is the Winterfell. Wolf. Winterfell. The Wolf. Uh, yeah, well, the Starks, uh, their sigil is uh, the wolf, and the Lannisters is a lion, okay? Yeah. A lot of things happened in the last episode. We had Danny stand up to her brother and lay kind of like uh, the verbal smackdown on him. I'm just surprised at his boldness there because yeah, he could so easily be killed for doing that. Exactly, yeah. We also met Samuel Tarley. Do you guys remember him? Yeah, oh. poor hapless... I just, I want to root for him, but it's so frustrating because it's just like, dude, you got to, at some point you just got to, you got to grow a pair here. Exactly. That's, that's how I am. I mean, he does have a sad story. Do you remember? The fat guy. The fat guy. Yeah. Him and his dad. You remember that yeah. story? <laughs> Anyways, guys, before we jump in, if you want to support us, uh, first of all, thank you for being here. Leave a comment down below. Also check us out on Patreon to see our full length and four week early access. Let's jump in. Yep. Tight around the midsection. It's oil, Grace. It won't go. Your mother was a dumb whore with a fat ass. Did you know that? You're too fat for your armor. Fat? Is that how you speak to your king? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny, is it? <laughs> Dude. Your squire. A Lannister boy. Mm. Bloody idiot. <laughs> Cersei insisted. <laughs> <laughs> he has no face thing. He's no face on. Freak. Yeah, is he gonna put a helmet on? Hey. I can't watch. I wanna do this. No, you don't. <laughs> this would be so crazy, dude. Yeah. Hurt. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna fight like this now? Brothers. Yep. Okay, I want to see this. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Stop this madness in the name of your <laughs> Words probably got into my father by now. He'll be offering a handsome reward. You're taking me to your sister. You might as well kill me here. I am not a murderer, Lannister. Neither am I. I have nothing to do with the attempt. Whoa, what? Oh, oh, dude! Yep. Who are these yahoos? It's like going out to new Matt. I know. Untie me. If I die, what's the point? Oh! Oh, <laughs> dude! <laughs> you need a woman? <laughs> Like a woman after a fight. Oh yeah. What what do we got going on here? Okay, I'm gonna speak about you look. Oh you were supposed to be important. See person. how do you get soft that quick? Important enough. Who the imp? I call him half a nobleman. <laughs> John was a man of peace. He was hand for seventeen years. Why kill him? He started asking questions. The wolf and the lion will give each other's throats. We will be at war soon, my friend. We're not ready. We need time. Carl Drogo will not make his move until his son is born. We will be sad to die. Does someone somewhere keep your balls in a little box? Now, the last time I saw you, you were talking to the hand of the king. You saw me with your own eyes. Eyes I own. And not long after that, when I saw you escorting a certain foreign dignitary, council business. Yeah. Of course you no begging. I'm not a beggar. I live here. Do you want a smack on your ear to help you with your hearing? Uh oh. See my father. My father is Hand the King. I'm not a boy. I'm Arya Stark of Winterfell. I'm willing to smack you on the ear to help with your hearing. 
You know I had half my guard out searching for you. They said they were going to kill you. They said you found the bastard and the wolves are fighting the lions and the savage. Where did you hear this? What were you doing in the dungeons? Chasing a cat. <laughs> the whole city will know by tomorrow. You know what? Best said in private, my lord. You wouldn't let anyone kill him, would you? No fear on that account, little lady. Well, this season in change job. I like Jory, he's decent. Yeah, decent. It's about your wife, my lord. And she's taking the imp. Uh oh. The look says it all. Theory. They say it's impregnable. Give me ten good men and some climbing spikes. I'll impregnate the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the whore is pregnant. You're speaking of murdering a child. I warned you this would happen. But... You'll dishonor yourself forever if you do this. Honor? I've got seven kingdoms to rule. Honor. Then we're no better than the Mad King. Careful, Ned. Careful now. You want to assassinate a girl? A Targaryen at the head of a Dothraki army. What then? The narrow sea still lies between us. That's your wise advice. Do nothing till our enemies are on our shores. When you find yourself in bed with an ugly woman, best close your eyes. Get it over with. <laughs> Cut her throat. But I will not follow you now. Mm. The Robert I grew up with didn't tremble at the shadow of an unborn child. Damn you, I've done with you. That guy's such a good actor. He's incredible. He's in it. I get. <laughs> He's still yelling. <laughs> yeah. You pollute my home with these presents. <laughs> You're onto some bad thing. Oh my god. You remember her, don't you? Isn't he beautiful? You wrote me about the Lannisters. Warning me to stay away from them. Not to bring one here. You can't hurt us! No one can hurt us yet! Tell him, Mummy! Tell him! Shh, 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 shh. What is this? Take him down below so he can rest. You go sleep, dwarf man. <laughs> sleep good, little dwarf man. <laughs> okay. I want to get that close. Now. Hairless, maybe you should find a little boy. I want you. Brothers. So, oh. How did it end up? Ooh. It's a Gary That'd be terrible. Oh, uh, Needs oh. to be done. Um, do you know who should be king? Be serious. I am. My father could be your bank. I'm fourth in line. <laughs> Where's Robert in the line of royal succession? People, he had to shave his armpit for real. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah. I'm sorry your marriage to Ned Stark didn't work out. <laughs> you seem so good together. Glad I could do something to make you happy. <laughs> Dothraki don't say it. Every oh. child knows that. They don't have discipline. They don't have armor. It's a neat little trick you do. You move your lips and your father's voice comes out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's all the realm is now. Backstabbing and scheming and arse licking and money grubbing. Sometimes I don't know what holds it together. Got marriage. <laughs> <laughs> They're both laughing. What was she like? You've never asked about her, not once. Why not? I thought if I didn't talk about her, she'd just fade away for you. When I realized that wasn't going to happen. What harm could Lyanna Stark's ghost do to either of us? That we haven't done to each other a hundred times over. I can't even remember what she looked like. Pictures. And seven kingdoms couldn't fill the hole she left behind. What a good line. Yeah. Was it ever possible for us? Was there ever a time, ever a moment? No. What do you know of King Robert's bastards? Well, he is more than you, for a start. Oh, man. Does it matter? Jory! My lord! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this can't be good. So 
such a small pack of wolves. Mm. I'm looking for my brother. You remember my brother, don't you, Lord Stark? Blonde hair? He was taken at my command to answer for his crimes. Take him alive. Kill us now. Oh, jeez. Two of them are, yeah. Oh! I liked him too, man. Me yeah. too. Both pretty good. Dude, that would kill his ass. Right there through the artery. He liked. He liked it. Yeah, he wanted to fight. For my brother, Lord Stark. I want him back. Well, I think he wanted the honor of well, he, doing he, it legitimately. You know? Well, yeah, I, I think he wanted them alive ultimately, but they weren't. I don't know if they were trying to do any killing blows right there. Yeah, yeah, I was. I'm a little bit surprised. I feel like Jamie, in a way, like I said, wanted it to be a legitimate fight to prove that he's legitimately better. Yeah. Than Ned Stark, without any other outside interference. Yeah. Who do you guys think would have won that? I don't know. Ned's considerably older, but he has a lot more battle experience. Okay. What about you? Um, I think. Same. I mean, I think uh, Ned will win. Ned is a veteran, but, you know, uh, Jamie has also f fought in wars, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, I mean, well, he was a King's Guard. I'm sorry, he was, yeah, he was in charge. He was a King's Guard for the Mad King. And, um, but he did fight, fight in the Battle of the Trident, I believe. Okay, this looks like shit where you yawn and you got smallpox over you. People are going to... Smallpox. Yeah. yeah, this looks like <laughs> shit. What did you guys think of the moment when he lost? Got so pissed off and just chopped his his his, his horse, horses. Yeah, out. His horse, Dude, yeah, that's crazy. Like, and then that was really cool. Yeah, I enjoyed seeing the brothers go at it. Yeah, me too. Bit. That that was like kind of an epic moment. There is kind of like a mountain versus hound type of like you know they call it the Clegane Bowl. Like, mm -hmm. how can you be if you're their parents? How can you be proud? Look, look at these two. Yeah, they're both terrible, shitty people. That Lisa, is it Liza? Lisa, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Liza with her... She is... They seem literally nuts. They are. She is fucking nuts. Like, breastfeeding her, like, 10-year-old child. Yeah. I don't like, know if he's 10. He might, be like, he might be, like, 8, but he's way older. Grown-ups. I haven't seen that, I don't think. You haven't seen it? You guys have watched it in the you background? Seen it? Is she in yeah. that? Yeah. No, but I'm saying there's a this girl breastfeeds. It's um, what's his name? It's Kevin James's wife breastfeeds this like six, seven year old kid. Well, that's this lady just literally seems like she's like unhinged. Yeah, she she's unhinged, and the little boys like, I want to see him fly, and they had to take Tyrion down to that dungeon. Yeah, which was like just this exposed area to you know, obviously the outside of the castle. Terrible place, yeah. Uh, man, I'm so bummed that Jory died. I really liked him. Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. I, I liked him too. Um, and uh, Ned isn't technically the hand of the king anymore. Right. And to protect his wife, he said that, you know, I, it was my orders to take Tyrion. I was wondering if that's why he said that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How'd you feel about the episode overall? Was it entertaining? Yeah. I like, we, we saw some sword fights. Yeah. You no, know, I like my favorite fights more, though. Well, I do love lightsaber fights. What was your favorite part of the episode? I could tell you mine, but I want to hear yours first. Let's go with Tom first. Okay. Well, I... So, I think that... First of all, I made a connection. The Greyjoy boy, his... Uh, I know where I recognize him from. He's on the first John Wick now. Yes. He's the Russian guy's son. Son, yeah. Idiotic son that started John Wick down his path of vengeance. Killed yep. his dog. Yep, killed his dog. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. I was like, I know him from somewhere. Mm -hmm. You but killed John Wick's dog? No, I I like the end fight. Um, I think that was kind of ruined between Jamie. Yeah, I, I liked it, but yeah, it was kind of ruined by... I just didn't want Jory to die, Shane. I didn't. I didn't want him either. It's an unfortunate thing, and he died in an unceremonious way. Yeah, he's just, he's a loyal... Yeah. You know, a loyal guard and everything like that, and um, I was just, I was... I was pretty bummed to see that my favorite part of the episode is when they are all talking in a small council meeting and robert baratheon uh well 
you know, he is intent, dead set on killing Daenerys Targaryen yeah, I mean, because even, of the threat of the Dothraki army. Even to the point of Ned Stark no longer being the Hand of the King and them getting in an argument over Yeah, because he was like the Robert that I grew up with. Like, these are two friends that love each other, grew up, they, they, they went to war with each other. He's like, I'm not going to kill some little girl. And the Robert I knew wouldn't shudder of a rumor of a shadow of a girl's baby. You know what I mean? Right. So I, I love that conversation. And he got pissed, saying, I'll have your head on a spike, you know? And <laughs> we knew that. We know that Robert was just mad, you know? Right. Um, I also loved, it makes me very emotional, that conversation he had with his wife, Cersei. Yeah, that was weird. They it's weird to see them, like... They were discussing, with a lot of civility, the lack of love. And, like, this whole thing is a charade. This is an arranged marriage. So you can marry into my... My family can marry into royalty, and then you can make sure you had my family's money. And she loved him at one point, but he was always in love with Lyanna Stark and never got over her. Yeah. And when he said, someone took her from me, and seven kingdoms couldn't fill the hole. Yeah, it was a great line. Yeah, it's just... He's like, I don't even remember what she looks like. Yeah, that's a terrible thing. Yeah. So, what do you guys think is going to happen with Ned? Is he going to be thrown into a dungeon? Is Robert Baratheon, is Robert going to come in and say, listen here... Yeah, I don't feel like Robert's not gonna let Ned be thrown into a dungeon somewhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ned is Ned. Now that he's not the hand of the king anymore, is he technically still overseeing Winterfell? He's like, Lord of Winterfell. Like, he's yes. a lord. Yeah. yeah. So in Winterfell, also, it's like Alaska. <laughs> like it's like way bigger than, than everything else, right? Yeah. Any theories on what's going to happen with Tyrion? Are they going to make him fly? Is he going to get out? Uh, is Robert Baratheon, is he going to intervene? Well, I feel like he's a main character of the show. They're not going to kill him off now. Okay, okay. So he's going to yeah. weasel his way out somehow. Wow. He's, a, he's an expert talker. Mm -hmm. he, he is enjoyable to listen to, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Guys, we'll have to find out next episode. If you don't want to wait like these guys do, go to our Patreon to see early access and full length. Bye-bye.